Hello everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft in 1.0, and we are just about to hit level 30, there you go, we have now got our first level 30 from our spider porner, we made this in the last episode, if you missed that one then I'll leave a card right here for you to go check that out, very simple design, obviously we're suffocating these guys to make it a little bit easier for them to kill, but it still takes a bit of a while, it seems like if I leave it for just one more tick they end up dying, but I've been here for a little bit now, since I created this, I've now run out of all my goddamn swords. Never mind. We'll use the axe instead. Let's see how much we can get here. As you can see, it is actually quite effective when you get quite a bunch here. Started at level 29 with this bunch, already up to 31. So it's not bad at all, really. But once we finish killing all these... Why are we still here? Just to suffer. These guys will actually head off. These guys can screw themselves. Don't care about those. Any bits down here? Yep, loads of bits down here. Ends up nearly using up all my axe. But anyway guys, we are now at level 30, and that means that we need to actually start thinking about a little bit of an enchantment room. Now this enchantment room, I sort of want it to be sort of like a wizard tower sort of thing. How many times do I just say sort then? I don't want to do it really out of cobblestone again though, because we've already got far too much cobblestone, so I need to try and find a different block that I can do it out of. And we're gonna tack it on to this back corner, I'm thinking. Um, so it's going to take up this space here, I don't know how wide I'm going to make it, but something we have to remember is how the mechanics of enchanting worked back in 1.0. So step one to knowing how the mechanics work is I thought I would get all our sugar cane planted, that we have quite a bit now, in fact we have nearly, what, nine stacks worth. So that's going to be good for a little while, but how things were made in 1.16 is very different to how things are made now. So firstly, sugar cane can be turned into paper as we know but it's it you can't do it anywhere in the recipe it has to be in a line and then with paper you would usually have three bits of paper and then a bit of leather maybe but now it's not you have to stack paper in a row you can't do it in the sides or anything you, you basically have to think of it like sandwiching the paper together to get a book so that's how the books work now so i'm going to turn these all into books now there we go luckily i managed to get about two and a half stacks of lovely books and now i'm hoping that the bookshelf is made the exact same way as it usually is i don't believe this recipe has changed it hasn't good 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 so let's turn these into as many bookshelves as we can right so i've made myself here 32 bookshelves and you're probably thinking why the hell have i made so many books now the reason is that back in the day with enchanting one bookshelf equaled one level in the enchantment table because you have to get all the way to 30 different bookshelves to get the level 30 enchants. So now that we have this, it's time to actually make the crafting table itself. And that recipe hasn't changed for all this time. So I'm going to get the diamond pickaxe, which we made a couple of episodes ago, and we actually need to go get obsidian. So let's go find that. Right, so I've got the 32 obsidian. We don't actually need that much for this in crafting table as it is. We need first, we need our diamonds. Now we only need two. This recipe has never changed ever since it was added to the game which is just obviously this simple recipe, which everyone's seen before. And here we have our enchantment table. And we actually get a little bit of an achievement for it as well. Now, I'm not going to place it down because I have a feeling that you can't pick it back up again. I could be completely wrong. I know in later versions you can pick it up, but I think here you couldn't. Now, I don't know why, but we'll have a little look in depth of what that enchantment table actually does. So let's put this in here. We'll put our bookshelves in here. Where did I put those? I put them here. Let's put our bookshelves in here, and I'll put my obsidian in here. So now we're all ready for actually the enchanting itself. So it's time to think of a building now. The first thing first, I think we should sort of mark out what we need. So there's going to be our enchantment table, and we actually need to t cover this whole thing around in a circle, just leaving a little bit of a gap just here to actually walk in. And now this thing's going to be three blocks high. So what's this? One, two, three, four, five. So this is a five by five square. So let's say if we did maybe a seven by seven circle, uh, that could be good, have a 7 in the middle, that should leave us enough space, but probably we want to go be able to walk around it as well, so let's sort of draw up a bit of a circle here. So, I've thought of two designs, I had to chop down our mega tree in order to get down here, in fact I actually ended up missing one. It's always annoying, you know, that's the one thing I hate about super trees. But essentially we've got two different sizes here, so if we want to have enchanting at the centre with us having a, you know, a bit of a walk around as well, we want to make a 13 by 13 circle for our wizard's tower, or enchanting tower, however you would like to call it. 
or we could do something bigger. Now, the best size I can use, I'm using a website called Pixel Circle Generator because I am not very good at doing these circles in Minecraft, even after all these years. And the other one is a 19 by 19 enchantment table. And this was the first size that gave me a five by five square that fits like against the wall. Then it would give us all this area to live in. Now, to be honest, out of the two, although it'd be awesome to have our house sort of tacked onto the side of this, I reckon it'd be sort of good to actually live in a tower for every single version of Minecraft. Because remember, we're gonna rebuild our house depending well, every time we update the pack, we will be rebuilding our house using the new blocks and materials to see if we can improve the design. Now, this here is obviously, you know, a little bit square, a little bit basic. Obviously, we have a very small amount of blocks. So we can't do a lot. But with if we have a massive size like this, we can actually fill this with a lot of area. We could probably put a kitchen in at some point, you know, a proper storage area, maybe have a basement or something. Or we can make it, if anyone's familiar with the Twilight Forest, there is the Lich King's Tower and the Urgas Tower that has sort of like little pieces that are put off to the side of the wizard's tower and since this is going to be you know on the base what we could do potentially is have a wider base to begin with and have it sort of scale in it a little bit and then sort of on the mid tiers we have our enchantment table then when we actually do scale out on the sides it will look a bit more you know together instead of having it being all the same height going straight up we want it we want it a bit more coned at the top i would say so, after much deliberation, I think that I'm actually going to go for the 19 by 19 wizard tower. Now, I'm thinking I'm probably going to start it maybe at the base of 23 by 23 circle, and then sort of make it go inward slightly, but uh, I'll decide that as I start building the thing. Now, these are our main blocks. Now, we managed to find the enchant, the spawner, the spider spawner, last episode. So, we have a little bit amount, 48 mossy stone that I could incorporate into the build. But besides that, these are our three main blocks. Now, I'm thinking and I'm probably going to, you know, have oak logs on the side of it a little bit, you know, sort of have a, what's it called, medieval sort of look where they have all the posts along through the running through the stone and stuff and maybe i was thinking hopefully i could get some brick now i haven't seen a lot of clay there's some there i think unless that's just the water messing about no there's some clay there so we could be able to inc incorporate some of the brick but i feel like the color will contrast just a little bit too much but i'm going to start building this and see what i sort of end up with Right, so this is what we got so far. I said that I'd try and put some lovely brick into the build, so I thought I'd do that as a nice floor. Just on the base, though, I don't think it would work well in the walls. Now, I know it's just cobblestone at the moment, but I'm thinking I'm going to, you know, put things into the walls after it's actually built up. So this here is actually 25 by 25. Now, I'm sort of thinking about future proofing this build, since we're always going to remake it. Now, I was going to do a bit of a spiral staircase, but that happens in every single wizard tower. So instead, I'm going to do something in the center, and it's going to be, at the moment, it's going to be like a glass pipe that's going to have maybe some cobblestone brick, you know, on the edges. So if we get the center here, which is something like this, I reckon. I think this is the center here. If I had a coned off little area here, maybe, and what I can do, we can have a ladder in the center. Just to begin with, it's just going to be a ladder, but later on, we're obviously going to have water elevators. So then we can have it going up and then down. So I'm going to future proof it with that. Besides that, I haven't thought about what we could have on different levels, but I'm thinking per update we can sort of flesh out a bit. But at the moment we need to build this up a bit higher. And I was looking into, you know, how to make it push in a little bit. And I was trying to, or hoping to, make it so you could put a little bit of like wooden slabs here. And I was going to round it off a bit, a little bit. But obviously in this version of the pack, the stairs don't actually join together. So I'm going to mess around with half slab and stuff, see if I can push it in a bit. I'm going to try and have maybe three or four high rooms per level. Uh, I don't know how many levels we're going to end up having, but I have to remember, I think the sky height isn't actually 256 in this version. I think it's still 128. Not 100% sure though, but uh, we'll find out when we get that high. So I'm going to try and push it in, say, maybe five blocks. It might look a bit strange, but I'm going to see how it works out. So the next one's going to be a 20 by 20 inwards. Right, I've moved it in a bit, I've got it five high again, and I've tried to come up with some sort of design. I, I've got half slabs here, I might remove the half slabs, because it looks like it's too flat right here, so I'm probably going to remove those half slabs, but I've tried to p incorporate the gap. It was only a two block gap, but it was quite significant to try and push in. It might be a little bit too much, which I'm hoping when I remove the half slabs, it will be, you know, a little bit better. But besides that, I've done the next layer on the inside, and I've lit it all up lovely inside here it's all you know symmetrical designs 
but I'm quite liking the floor or slash ceiling. Now, I know you shouldn't ever have things like the same, um, but I'm, I'm liking it because of the outside with the cobblestone. I quite like how you've got this centerpiece in here. Now, at the, at the moment, this is obviously temporary just for me to get up and down, um, but it's not bad for now. And here's our next level. It's quite considerably a lot tighter. It it's definitely feels a lot smaller. I didn't think it would really do that much. But never mind. That is one more level down. And the next one, this was actually ends up as well going to be 19 by 19 because 20 was an even number. So it wouldn't have worked out. So the next one is going to be, I think, 15 by 15. So another wall down. Managed to keep the same sort of design. I've taken away all those half slabs now and I think it does actually look better like that I will obviously this one we changed this to more of the brick it will be a little bit better which will be good for us as well as I don't think at the moment we even have stone brick stairs we might do so I'll give it a double check but besides that we're now inside going all the way up to the top and now inside I've actually done this as stone brick it looks strange against the cobblestone walls but I just didn't want to do wood again, you know, and I thought this would be more, you know, sort of attic level stuff. So I was originally going to do it with cobblestone itself, but then I thought that was a little bit shoddy. So at the I think the last level I'm going to do, this here is 15 by 15. I think I'm going to do a 9 by 9 now, and then I'm going to slap a roof on it. Uh, I think that'll be very good here. Now, obviously, the enchantment table is probably going to go in this level because then it fits on the side. So we can flesh out this floor. And then when we actually have to rebuild this place, we'll flesh out both here and also the roof itself. Right, so looking at this, this looks shocking. I cannot believe that this has turned out this way. I think I know how I can improve it, and I think we'll actually we'll improve it, obviously, in the later versions of the game. But I think what I mainly could have done is made each section actually taller. I think that's what, what I'm really showing out because not gonna lie, I've been doing inspiration from Google. I'm not too good. So I'm trying to put a mix of ideas together. I'm liking the stepping in, but I think each section could just be, you know, extruded a little bit and just made taller. I think the base is probably a little bit too wide. I think I could have started at 19 by 19, but just made it a bit longer and then had some sort of outcropping around the outside. That's what we're gonna do next time we rebuild this thing. But for now, this this is good. This is good for a 1.0 build, you know. We've got to have creativity improve as the series goes on. Uh, but now it's time for a bit of the roof. And because I was hoping to do a bit more of a, a pointed roof. It's going to be out of wood. Uh, but I think I have to do it a little bit flatter because this is so squished. It's not really a tower, really. It's more like a snowman, if anything else, if you're looking at it. But as well as that, I'm going to try and put some wood into the side and sort of have... You know, um, some a bit of spine to it or some backbone to it, however you want to call it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I've given it a little bit of definition now, if you could really say that. I mean, I've got some logs around the outside. I think I would have liked the tower to be a bit taller, but I think having a tall tower, as, as I said before, on this stumpy little thing probably isn't the best idea. So the last thing we really need to do now is just sort of like... Give it a bit more texture, so I'm going to throw in a couple of bricks in there and some smooth stone and see if we can give it a bit more than just the cobblestone feel. I think the wood really works quite well. Uh, I don't think it'd be very good to actually keep or put the any plank stairs around the outside. I don't think that would look very well. And now, when on the inside, it's pretty much nothing special, so I won't even bother showing it. We'll go up there eventually at some point. But for now, let's start texturizing. So, at long last, after much, much retexturing, I'm actually kind of liking this sort of style, to be honest. Now that you've got all these different blocks, it definitely looks a lot better. I mean, you can see the massive slabs of cobblestone stairs here, but I don't believe that you can actually do anything else, which isn't obviously the end of the world, but this is looking pretty nice. I obviously had to do the inside as well, so we'll take a look at that. But besides that, it's also time to now actually put in our enchantment table. So I've managed to flesh out the inside, all of these walls you can't see from the outside, so I had to decorate the inside as well, and I'm thinking it's not too bad. Now, obviously, we're going to be fitting this in this space right here. So we need to basically have our enchantment table here. And it's very simple, as you can see. It gives us only these basic ones, of, of course. But then as we put these in here, I'm just going to put the basic, you know, 15 in first. So I believe that's what most people are used to. Now, if I put this sword in, we're going to get, see, only up to level 15. 
that's why we need to put every single block. So we just basically do this by two levels. That's what we'll do to begin with. I mean, we could always put in more if there isn't enough. We've got two extra as it is. But here we go. We'll put this in here. That only actually gives us up to level 20. I'm surprised. 29. Okay, so it keeps... Oh, it's back in the days where it keeps shifting as well. In fact, that's a level 36 enchantment. I had no idea you could get level 36. But they keep going around. Like, there's level 32. Right, in this case... I think I'll put these last these last two here. I'll put it that way so it's somewhat symmetrical. And let's go get our diamond stuff. Right, and we are back. Now, I know I said that I want to have, obviously, full diamond armor by the end of being in 1.0. But I think the first one I'm actually going to do is the pickaxe, surprisingly enough. Now, I'm going to try and get a full level 32 enchantment because I know I could, I could already get that. And probably because I've got these few extras, I might be able to get something better. Well, I'm not actually having 42. Wow. These enchants were mad back in the day, actually. 39. I had no idea it was something like this. I'm going to keep going until I get a 32, and I'll let you guys know when I find one. Right, here we go, guys. I've just managed to click for a level 32. No idea what this could be. This could literally just be one enchant for all I know. But, obviously, we don't need any lapis, so let's just go. What's it going to be? Fortune 2. You know what? I can have that. Considering I know how bad old enchantments used to be, I'm pretty sure it used to only give you bad things as it is. And plus, in this version of the game, I don't know if Fortune 3 was even a thing. I mean, it probably was, but Fortune 2, that's pretty good. So I'm happy with that. We can basically use this pickaxe for um, whenever we want to get more diamonds. But for now, we need to actually get enough of the good old enchantment experience stuff to get all the rest of this. So I'm going to be spending some time now... got some creepy noises here in minecraft today i'm gonna to be spending some time in the old spider mine now i'm gonna get loads more iron shovels because that's the way this seems to work plus i'm probably gonna to need to harvest this again to get more bread because bread isn't exactly the best at giving us you know a lot of saturation so i'm gonna be doing that now and then i'll be seeing what each different type of enchantment we're gonna to get together So guys, I've now got another 31 levels and I've just realised it's going to take me half an hour per every single 30 levels using our spider spawner, which is actually the fastest possible way we could really do things at the moment. So if you could smash a like on this video, that would really help me out. It's a lot of, episode, lot of effort going into this video, it seems, especially with building this thing. This is taking me over two days as it is and then going on to doing this. I think I am going to do the sword next as well. So I'm going to have to keep clicking through until I get to 31 levels again. Hopefully it won't take me too long. All right, here we go. I've got 31 levels again with the sword. Let's see what we're going to get. Sharpness 3. You can see how it was really bad back in the day. <laughs> anyway, we've got to do that four more times. Then we can get all the armor. And then that will be in a good place for the next episode where I've got something mildly special planned. back again and this time we are going to do the diamond chest plate i think hopefully we can get this i've only got 30 levels this time instead of anything higher i don't want to be wasting too much time doing it oh there was 29 there so let's see if we can get a level 30 enchant right there we go didn't take too long this time and what are we going to get here protection three i think that's actually really good i think protection three is the highest i can get now something i was looking up while we're heading back down to the mine i was seeing i looked up on the old wiki when mending was actually added to the game and it looks like mending wasn't actually added to minecraft until version 1.9 so these things that we're actually making right now they are going to break at some point and there is nothing we can do about it ever which really really sucks and also i haven't tested it yet but i also don't think that you can even get enchantment books in this version meaning that we can't add things together with anvils so what we get here is literally the best we can possibly get so I'll see you guys again when I have another 30 levels. I've only got to do it three more times. Oh, angry zombie. In for enchantment number four, I believe. This time, I think I'm going to go for a helmet. That way, we might be able to get some water breathing, potentially. So again, going to be going for a level 30 enchantment here. Perfect. That took me a lot longer than I expected. What are we going to get this time? Oh, wow. We actually get two enchantments for once. Blast Protection 4 and Aqua Affinity 1. That isn't bad. Not bad for this state of the game. So it's only got to be two more times. Guys, I must say, <laughs> I know I just said this in the previous segment, but I started recording this section of the video today at like 12 o'clock and it is now 20 to 5 in the evening. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god. Anyway, only two more times we need to enchant. We are back again. Only two more times remaining. I'm going to do the boots next because the boots are probably more important. And I want to give another timestamp here. It's now quarter to six. <laughs> it took me that long to get 30 levels. Oh my god, I can't believe it. But let's see how long it's going to take me until I get to 30 again. You know what? It might not even be worth doing level 30s in this version of the game. And there we go, straight away. Fire protection 4, that's not bad. That'd be good for whenever we go to the nether. And it's now just the diamond boots. Now, I, also, I took a stack. I took a stack of 64 iron down there so I could keep making iron swords, and that's gone. So I'm going to get another load, and I'll see you back when I have the final 30 levels. Well, guys, you're going to have to excuse all the noise. I've just come back from making myself some dinner. I managed to kill the last batch of spiders. We've got a few more that have popped up while I was killing but look how much stuff I've managed to get now. It's absolutely insane. It take this. I've managed to collect all this stuff just by enchanting six different things. I absolutely cannot believe it. But we're going to head back now. Get away from all that noise because they're quite annoying. And we're going to finally enchant our last thing, which is the diamond boot trousers. Oh, look at that. It's raining. Oh, and the rain is really, really weird. <laughs> Obviously, we're right next to a desert, aren't we? Of course. Also, it seems like there isn't any sound for the rain. You know what? I kind of like that, to be honest. But here we go. Here is our last set. Let's see. How long is it going to take? I'm going to go for the full level 36 enchant if it comes up. Right, here we go. It didn't take me too long. I've got a level 36 here. I bet it's not going to be any good. In fact, I believe it's probably only going to be one enchant. But let's have a look. Protection 3. 36 levels for a protect protection 3. You know what? That's really not worth it. And everything is really shod to hell now, isn't it? So... This is finally, at long last, we have got a bit of a setup now. <laughs> Perfect. In fact, the glowiness doesn't look as nearly as good as it does now, does it? It's very, very, very subtle. Let's get all this out. You can tell a bit more on the actual tools, though. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end this one here. It's taken me a very long time to do this episode, so if you could give me a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, especially if you made it this far in the video, guys. And I will see you in the next one, where you've only got one more episode left before we actually update the world into 1.1.